Carrie Brakes, the other half of the Bonnie and Carrie team. Um, uh, Carrie's uh, ready. Boy, I haven't been in a room full of my friends like this in a good 30 years. I'm going to say first off, I'm not saying this because I'm in the book. No, 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 no. Hear me, listen to me. I'm not saying this because I'm in the book. I'll tell you why I am saying it, because the thing is that the stories in this book need to be told. This is an instruction book, because after you see this book, after you read it, okay, and we have somehow corrupted your minds, um, you're going to see that this book is very human. Okay, and the thing is that basically we're all human. We're all made by the same production company. We were all made by the same manufacturer. Okay, we all came off the same type of assembly line. Okay, just different production years. I'm a 56 model. <laughs> we become really dumb. You see people walk down the street, man. You see like a whole bunch of homeless people. Here's something I want you to think about. You know what? Any one of you, at any point in your life, you could be in the book. Do you know why? Because the thing is, is that I'm every man. I'm not no different than any of you. Trying to get into an abandoned building and dealing with uh, Julian Fudd and his mounted unit. You don't have to go through cops on horseback. Yeah. This gets in here, and this is the most important places in your mind. This is that the words can change your opinions. It can change your feelings. When you get through reading this book, I promise you this. When you get through reading this book, you want to see the movie. your mind will be changed. <laughs> your mind will be no, like your mind will be changed. But you know what? When you walk down the street and you walk by the Eaton Center and you see a bunch of homeless people, you know something? You're not gonna see homeless people. What you're gonna see to quote a great old Rod Stewart song from 71, every picture tells a story, every face tells a story. You're going to see, look at a person who's homeless, and you're going to see a history. You're going to see a person, you're going to see a living, breathing human being, just like you. Okay, you're going to see a life, and all of a sudden, all these suddenly faceful people, you have like 50 homeless people, all of a sudden, you've got, look at you, you've got 50 stories. That's the whole point of this book. This is a turning point, because now, you know what? Now it's going to be a little easier to get housing, and maybe we don't have to break into abandoned crappy buildings anymore, you know, or anything like that, or deal with the cops. Or anything like that. It's not about pathology. This book is not about individual responsibility for becoming homeless. Every person in this book talks about housing is the answer 